<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Jobandum Show Interviews with um, Mark and Erica. And here we have today the incredible Jamie Chambers. He has got more than 30,000 followers on Instagram and uh, so many others on Twitter and all the other socials. He's incredible. He's very funny. He's a multifaceted artist. He's a great actor. So please welcome Jamie Chambers. <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah, hi Val, how's it going? Yeah, good to see you. Hello. How are you? Yeah, really good, you? We're good. Okay. Well, good. Well, how was your journey? Ah, it's alright. Okay. Jump, jumping on the, the train and just sort of get here as quick as possible. Okay. <laughs> Did you jump on the train physically? <laughs> you know what, that would make it a lot more fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I was trying not to be a train snob and just sort of sit there and people watch and do, do the usual London thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, head down, look at the phone, avoid everyone, like don't make eye contact with anyone. <laughs> yeah, that's how, yes, that's you not so make eye contact instead of See, I, I'm one of those odd people that doesn't mind talking to people. And like, <laughs> if someone sits next to you, uh, the metro's open, it's like, oh, well, that's interesting. And then you get that weird look of, my God, you spoke to me. <laughs> uh, and I, uh, that's where we are different, yeah. I tend to do the same, the opposite, you know, I tend to bother people, you know. <laughs> so what's your favorite, uh, yeah, by the way? Um, so, uh, what's, your, uh, what's your background, Jamie? Uh, okay, my background um, is it's a bit mixed. Uh, I started off in sport. Uh, I played football for a long time and then was a professional football coach. Um, that, that, was, that was a fun time. Um, I came to a realization that it wasn't what I wanted, it wasn't giving me that passion. Um, I went to a bit of a dark place and like sort of really sort of pushed it the other way and that was my inspiration and uh, it, it, was, it was weird, it was like the end of the year, about six years ago and um, Transporter 3 was on and I, I was watching it I was like, I can do that. It was, it was the scene in the garage. I'll be um, there, yeah. yeah I'll it, produce it. It was it, 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 was, it was Jason Statham. <laughs> And it was 12 guys, it was a fight, and I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. I can beat them all. Like, that's <laughs> exactly. You know? So, yeah, I, I, found, I found my job the next day, and I was like, I'm not coming back. Um, that's amazing. Super made a profile, and I was like, right, this is where I'm going, this is what I'm doing. Okay. And that's it. That's, uh, yeah, it's good to act now once you realize something without thinking too much. Exactly. I think the worst, the worst thing anyone can have, especially for me, is to have any sort of regret. Yes. So I, I, I was toying with the idea for a while and I was like, if I do it and I'm awful at it, at least I know and then I can draw a line under it and I can move on. But if I do it and I get a decent review or someone likes it, then I'm in and I know I can do it. And then True. You, know, you find out. And that, that, was, that was the key thing for me. No regrets and just go for it. So good, that's yeah. so good. It's also great tips for all our aspiring actors as well. For the audience, yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. that is watching. Yeah. Everyone, Which yes. Is... Just like, do what you love, always like. <laughs> well, that's a so biggest yourself. suggestion. <laughs> and you've got uh, loads of uh, followers on uh, your socials. Yeah, um, it's a weird one because um, I was never big on social media. I was never, I, I like me for being me. If, I, if I'm at a party or a social event or I'm there, yeah. And I'm, I'm not on the phone, I'm not doing that sort of thing, but uh, I, I was told how important it is to get this social network in and start developing a, a following and a network and this sort of thing. So um, about six months ago I started actually working at it. I, mean, I had like 600 followers and <laughs> so um, yeah, I just sort of plugged away and it, it's all about mutual promotion and stuff like that. I've got a lot of friends doing a lot of really good stuff. So promoting them and making sure that you know you're showing other people's work and yes, encouraging yes, them, yeah, true. it's incredibly important. And like like, like the stuff you guys are doing, it, it's so important that people support each other. Yes, and, yes, course, yes, yes, yes. Like this, like the show, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's so good. Yeah. And uh, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just bounce between the yeah. two. No, yeah. <laughs> I would love, I would love to ask you, what would be your dream role? Now they have like okay, cool. Um, well, just Bond probably to jump on trains, yeah. Because I know I, they have like. I, I, I really like the idea of Bond, um, m mostly because I like the way they've taken the, the Bond franchise and they they, they sort of they, they've given it a much more grounded, gritty feel. It's a lot more realistic. Uh, they moved away from the Bronson, uh, the Brosnan era into, but I think uh, for me it would be more. Uh, 
a transporter or um, a Punisher type character, like your, your anti-hero sort of thing. Okay. Um, I get shoehorned into bad guys a lot because I've got a very well-worn face. So it's <laughs> you got yeah. the, the Roman nose, yes. uh, like me, I mean, I'm it, Roman. Yeah. It's been broken yeah. so many times. You I mean, know. You, yeah. I mean I, I, I've, I've turned up and I, I've, I've, I've gone into auditions and castings for like the lead protagonist and I've, I've walked in the room and they've gone, you look like a bad guy, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. You, you, what did you reply? What did you reply? Thank you. You smile and say, "Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah." I can't really apologise for this. You know? Well, yeah, as long so, as it yeah. gets you a role. Exactly. Uh, um, I mean, I've I've been modelling a lot on the action side of things. Um, I mean, a lot of the stuff I do away from acting is like the, the sports side. So I'm um, a black belt kickboxer. Um, mm. I, I climb, do scuba, um, oh, all, all, all these sort of things, um, a lot of self-defense and that sort of stuff. Do you climb so, in uh, groups? Or do you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I prefer to do that because when I fall off it's nice to have somebody catch yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't fall yeah. alone, yeah? Uh, def de definitely don't want to fall alone. <laughs> yeah, um, so because of that I, I like to, to take those sort of skills and uh, the stuff that I enjoy away from the industry and use it in the industry. Awesome. Uh, I'm doing my stunt driving at the moment, um, yes. so lots of pursuit and evasion stuff, yeah. which is always fun. And then obviously the fight stuff lends itself really well to a lot of the films yes. that are, yes. uh, I mean the John Wick and Transporter series, um, the Jack Reacher series, all these sort of things. The action actor is sort of so prolific now. Like people wants to see blood, you know. Yes. Yes. You can't yeah. see it in the streets. But, but on, on the flip side, um, a real a real challenge for me would be real sort of deep drama. Um, you know, sort of like the emotional. I don't want to say Notebook. I want to say <laughs> so something, something like, like uh, uh, the Yes, crown. I love you. Um, yeah, the Crown. Yeah. <laughs> the Crown. Yeah, Maybe um, some drama. It's more period. But, but yes, yeah, so, I mean, I, I, period pieces I love. I've just done a musical um, period piece, and that that was a challenge because I'm, I'm not built for period. <laughs> uh, uh, the costume lady hated me. She was, <laughs> I'm going to have to make you a shirt. Like, <laughs> but um, no. It, it's great, and uh, for me, uh, I got offered um, a post-apocalyptic film, and it was a sniper that goes a little bit off the rails because he's always distanced from what's going on. And I sort of sat down with the director and I said, that's a lot in my comfort zone, that's, that's very, uh, I, I, I know I can do that, I've, I've sort of done it before. And I sort of said to him, that there's this star sergeant role, and he's got to keep his, composure and he's got to keep himself and the others around him sane in this situation. I was like, that's the challenge. And he was like, yeah, take it, have it. If you want that challenge, then great. So yeah, for me, it's, it's about challenges. It's about, um, if you're in your comfort zone, you're, you're not developing, you're not pushing. So it's really important yeah, yeah, true, to go true. past that and find something that really sort of pushes you and gives you that, um, that impetus to develop and go yes, yeah. beyond. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you never know what you can discover yes, in the process. Exactly. Yes, it's yes. It's like uh, you fall in love <laughs> in the process. Yeah, and but Jimmy, you know, um, new things to do. On another, on another side, uh, do you believe in God? <laughs> Show me some proof and I'll believe. Uh, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> um, I, 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 I've got family members that do and um, I support them in their belief 100%. Um, How do you support for them? For me, I'm very... Um, do you buy them some Bibles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my support for you. My, 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 my support <laughs> comes from engaging and taking on what they do. Um, mm. uh, it, it, it's key for me that whatever someone decides is their belief, it's important that you show that you understand yes, and true. appreciate. Yes. Uh, because because, 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 because life's so short, yeah. you, you can't be at, you can't be at loggerheads with yes. people about that. I mean, in, in terms of God, um, for me. If someone shows me irrefutable proof, then <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll smile and go, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah I would agree. Me, for the moment, agree. I'm going to sit on the fence. Yes, and, <laughs> and watch. <laughs> watch. <laughs> when, when the rapture comes, then yeah, I'll, 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 I'll see some proof. But um, for me, for the moment, um, I, I came to the conclusion a little while ago. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm a big fan of the TV series Red Dwarf, and there was an episode where sounds a little bit convoluted, but this self-repairing robot lives to the end of time. And he comes to the conclusion 
that there is no God and there is no afterlife. Okay. But what the takeaway was is that the purpose of life is to live a worthwhile life. And the purpose is that if do what is worthwhile and is worthwhile to you and encourages and develops others. If you do that, then that's that's the meaning of life, that's the purpose. And yeah, that's true, that's right. That, that's where my belief and that's that's my belief system is that if it's worthwhile and it's done right and it's what you want to do to make things better for yourself and others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes yeah. sense, yeah, yeah, to me. And you know, what happened to, to your to him? <laughs> do you play <laughs> volleyball? Yeah, I, like, I, I really do like working out on the heavy bag a lot. Um, <laughs> and I, I wore my MMA mitts and I've mashed my knuckles a little bit. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it art right now? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's one of those where I'd rather not have mashed knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very nice as well. It's very cosmetic, you know. <laughs> When they say, uh, actually, it keeps him into character. Exactly. When, exactly. when they say, yeah, you're the big guy, you say, yes, just <laughs> easier. I mean, it sounds a bit gross, but I couldn't work out why the heavy bag kept getting wetter. It was because my knuckles were bleeding. <laughs> so I thought it would be much better to strap them up. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 probably, yeah, yeah. Rather than keep them bleeding. Yeah, yeah. yeah good idea. <laughs> but yeah, I, I use the heavy bag quite a lot. It's, it's great cardio for me. Um, okay. And also, it keeps, keeps uh, movements fresh. And... Any techniques that you see and do, um, so I've got two martial arts films coming up, okay. so I'm always chucking in new techniques on a heavy bag and all that sort of okay. stuff, and it means that working out and practice are in the same bag. Okay. <laughs> you know what, what? One item, one tool uh, to exercise that I love is the uh, like the tire. You know, yes. the big tire. Do, do, do you have this? Yeah, uh, we. This um, your... Me, me and my gym buddy, he he does push me quite hard, um, and we do what's called no sides. Okay. So. When you flip the tire, the, the sides can't touch the floor, so you have oh, to do okay. a full flip. Oh, okay. So, so you, you, you can't roll it over; you have to okay. flip it. Yeah, that, that, that's great. Even harder, yeah. yeah. That's great for about five flips, and then you just want to pass it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait for a couple all days, that sort yeah. of all that sort of cardio, um, all all those sort of more dynamic and baristi style stuff. Yeah. It, it's so useful, especially for actors, where time is precious. It's yes, incredibly yes, precious. precious. Um, I, I'm, I'm producing and acting in films at the moment, and time is minimal. So, especially if you've got to travel either end. So, I'm getting to the gym at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. I've got an hour to train okay. and then yes. have to eat. So, you, all those sort of things tires, sleds, uh, uh, pulling machines, all those sort of things right. are perfect. Yes. yes, yeah. So, I think this is part of walking out, it's really a great part of the day. Well, it, it, it has to be. We're, it's yeah. a Purely, well not purely, but it's, it's a highly aesthetic industry yes. um, and looks do go a long way. It's what gets you through the door in the first place. Um, I know. The importance of head. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the Italian looks, you're fine. <laughs> I just need to unbutton the one button yeah. is done. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you're not too sexy. Yeah, the, the Italian now. buttons come yeah, down. Yeah. 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 The more sex you want, the more I keep on button. Yeah. It's just that's how it works. Yeah, for it, us, it, yeah. Exactly. Um, I mean, the headshots, it's the, it's the thing that gets you through the door. And your headshot, your full length shot, um, anything like that. And it's the making sure. <laughs> Trust me, no, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> no, no, no. Not in this video. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so like. Um, I, I, I did a bit of modelling a while back and there is a stress and a pressure and that's why I appreciate what models do a lot because it's so hard to maintain what you've got and I mean, I, I'm, I'm losing a lot of body fat at the moment and you've got to try and marry up where you are with where you've got to be, yeah. how much muscle mass can you lose, how much fat, and, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and you've, got, you've also got, you've got to make directors happy, you've got to make producers happy. Um, so are you on a diet? At the moment? Um, I wouldn't call it a diet. I, I would call I, I would call it um, hell food based <laughs> food based abuse. Um, okay. <laughs> water and coffee with chicken, tuna, and rice. And uh, okay, okay, that's good. I, 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 I miss carbs. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but can you eat tuna more than uh, three times a week or something? Um, like that? I do. So, yeah. <laughs> you do. Know, you do. Know, you still eat here. The thing for me is. Um, I used to love food. I used to really sort of, it became a bit of a crutch for me. If, if things got tough, it was like, I'm going to eat some yum yums and some pastries and then I'm going to have a chocolate bar and then I'm going to eat some, I'm going to drink some milk. And then, and then I sort of reframed it and I was like, I, I don't actually need this. And yes. Yes. I can change. Yes. 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 Can be, yes. You can replace them I mean, with I, fruits I, with vegetables. Precisely. And, and yeah. on top of that, it was, it was, it was a case of what do I need food for? 
and when do I need it? And then that was it. It, it wasn't, <laughs> I, had a, I had the same, with my, my friend said he was going to treat himself after a workout. He said, I'll get to treat, treat myself to a burger. And I was like, don't you treat dogs with food? <laughs> just to sort of put it that way. So I've I, I reframed food now. I don't eat food to enjoy it, it or very rarely. Um, now it's like I, I eat the food I need for the role I'm doing, and then that's it. And okay, so it's all very functional. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I'm incredibly obsessive compulsive. <laughs> it's like everything has a reason for why I'm doing it. Okay. Um, it's logic, Can we say you magic than... pasta? Oh, of course. Oh, yes, I mean, yes, Italian yeah. pasta, of course. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> or lasagna, what do, what do we have on the menu today? Lasagna. Oh, definitely yeah. lasagna. Yeah. That we have spaghetti. The spaghetti, <laughs> that's good, yes. Yeah, I yeah. Bowl, love them. A bowl of carbs every now and again. We have the cry game and the laugh game. Yes. Okay. You know, that's a, it's a go. Many things. Cool. Okay. So one of these is crying. Okay. <laughs> you need to. Oh, <laughs> cool. Just need to. <laughs> we, we we give you a, uh, some space and uh, take yourself and some time. take some time to get into yourself sure. your character and uh, just cry and uh, then we will tell you uh, to laugh. And, oh, uh, laughing shouldn't be a problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We're on you whenever you want. Cool. Now laugh. <laughs> laugh is easy. <laughs> okay, that is good. It's good. That is so good. Okay. There would have been tears, but I'm so dehydrated. <laughs> yeah. No worries, we know that like Kainu Kizu is like... Oh, it's cool. Like, you have to prepare yeah, that, that, was, nice. that was very good, that was very good. I, I really enjoyed it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it was very nice. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, Jamie. No worries. Thank you, Jamie. And, uh, well, let's um, would you like to... No, we can rock it. Yeah. Same <laughs> line in three different ways. Yes, the same line. Do we cool, have what line would you we like? Should, uh, here. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, correct. Yeah, get it. Yeah. Which line would you like to go? Oh, with? yes, yeah. Because I have the one that. Oh, would you like to do the. Oh, no, I can do this. This one. Okay, yeah. Okay, the line is exactly this one. Cool. Yes, just the line. Is there any. Is there any. Oh, I can remember that. Yeah. Um, okay. So is it? Just any, give it three any, different attentions. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Okay. So now you got the line, mm -hmm. and just say it in with three different uh, intentions cool. uh, and uh, emotions. Emotions. Yeah. Whatever it feels. Three different, three different okay. colors. Yeah. Sure. You know, like, okay. Let's give it some space. Okay. I'm on you. Oh. But I had the whole thing planned. Oh. But I've got the whole thing planned. Oh. But I've got the whole thing planned. <laughs> That's so good, yeah. That's so good, yeah. The last one was amazing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well done. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It was so good. <laughs> and thank uh, you, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you go. Okay, it's good. Yeah. yeah, great. Well done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> and thank you, uh, Jamie. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you go. No, we can't. Yeah. Since we have been like so many games, so, uh, uh, I was about, <laughs> I was asking him how he prepares for All characters, right. which is his process, if you want. But okay, yes, go, so, okay, okay, yeah, so we can connect it to that one, yeah. Just a second. Stop saying sorry, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have done like a cry game, a love game, we have, um, you have actually acted out uh, a line with three different intentions. I would like to ask you, how do you prepare for a, a character? For a okay, role? Um, I mean every role is different, every role has its own subtle nuances and uh, the, the way a character interacts with the world. Um, you, you have to take a bit of yourself with you, with everything that you do. It's, it's always you to an extent, you, it's you delivering something. Uh, I avoid anything to do with my past, anything that has gone before, and it's it's all about the circumstances that you create for yourself in the moment. So my my prep my overall preparation is done in terms of the whole character arc. But when you're going into a specific scene, you need to be angry with someone, or you need to be upset with someone, or something. Um, you put a circumstance that only you could possibly know about onto them. Okay, yes. So for instance, um, I, I could think something about you that I know in the moment I know is true under this <clears throat> under this imaginary circumstance and then it goes away afterwards. So I could talk to you now yes. and then I'll, I'll put a, a thought process in and then now I'm talking to you like this. Yes. And the face drops and you, you lose that that comfortable feeling? I can't see the feet. <laughs> oh, I, I can do it. <laughs> so, uh, so like, uh, the, what, what you do is you, you give yourself an imaginary circumstance yeah. to work with. Yes. So I, I'll think something of you that, although it's not true, in the yes. moment it is. And so suddenly... Uh, and you change it. Yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. see the feet. The change it's already yes. dropped. Yes. And yes. The, the way you speak drops and changes. Yes. And it becomes, it becomes more deep, deep, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, I, 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 we, we have a challenge with a few of my active friends. You're not going to kiss me now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not the emotion that came across. Um, we, we have a challenge where we uh, we try and guess the emotion we're putting onto someone else. That's very nice, And yeah. it, it, it's nice because you can't tell them what you're putting across. You have to use the words within your script or within your dialogue and then they have to infer. So it's, it's a nice challenge to sort of really refine your emotional process. And, it, and it's important for me yes. not, to, uh, not to bring anything from my past. My, my past is mine and it's important that that stays there. And whatever you create is your art form and that's the real sort of really important thing to take from it. And when you are creating uh, oh, you got your for your role. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you are creating the character for your role, uh, do you start the movie starts? So you start for the morning and then fill the rough. You stay into the character, no. or you uh, no you the, type the of exact actually, opposite. Uh, I, what do you do? I'm the guy on the set. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the purpose of yeah. A copy, yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy on set that um, is playing silly games and okay. talking to everyone. Um, like uh, switching off the cameras and uh, taking those the lines, Yeah, loads of stuff. I mean, <laughs> like, like I'll do that and I'll flick yeah. them in the nose and, you know, <laughs> all that, or tap people on the shoulders and run the wrong way. Anything like that. <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> sort of, anything. And, like going and messing about in costume and all that sort of stuff. Um, I, I try and enjoy the whole process. Okay, or I'll yes, have yes. a vaguely more serious day and I'll go and sit with the HOD and learn something. Yes. No, I couldn't stay in character all day. Um, okay. Huge respect to the people that do it. I, I, I appreciate the process. Um, for me, uh, I don't want to sound too aggressive or agitated, but it's a little bit too selfish for me to maintain a character for that long. Um, I, I like people for who they are and the ability to turn it on and turn it off. Of course, yes. So when I hear cameras roll in, okay, serious you time. Get into your yeah, cut, uh, time to yeah. time to get get back to work. Yes, yes. I hear cut and it's like, right, who can I annoy? <laughs> 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 yeah. 
So now in the... <laughs> Who haven't I annoyed you? <laughs> Can you cut We're the hair of people it. without letting them know it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just found these, yeah. I mean, the important thing for me is that I, uh, knowing that balance when, when you have to be professional, when you, you have to get something done. Because um, I always in the back of my mind, I know I've got a silly line or something that I could say during a take. And it's like, do I get away with that now? Or, or you know, with 12 takes in, shall I just do this properly? And you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. So um, I, I try and enjoy the whole process as much as possible. Yes, yeah. It's good, it's good, it's good. I think it, 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 I've worked with a lot of method guys and I think it's a great talent to hold that character and yes. to have that ability to maintain that for that long. Me personally, I enjoy the character when I'm in the character, but then I want to enjoy people for who they are. Yeah. On the set and yeah. that sort of thing. Um, that's the best thing. <laughs> yes. Um, so, do you drive? I try and drive as much as possible. Um, okay. it, it's incredibly helpful, except when you've got castings in London. Yeah. <laughs> um, Which car do you have? Uh, I've, I've got a Honda Civic Type R. Um, okay. Is it a fast one? <laughs> it, it, it's a complete boy racer car, but um, it's in pearl white. It's got all the, all the extra bits and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> the, re the reason though is um, I like my personal space and I, I like my own music. And it, it's nice to be, when, when you're at one end or the other, um, you either leaving to get somewhere or getting home, you are in charge of that. Yes. If you want to stay behind and have a meeting with someone else or well, someone else needs you to go somewhere, it, it opens that up. Um, so well, your driving is a necessity, really. Yeah, sure, that, that's correct. And uh, but when you say I like my personal music, uh, like, like do you make your own music? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, do you? Because oh, you don't I like British um, art. Uh, the, the thing is, Richard, <laughs> uh, Richard, yeah, the, this is all music. It's all music. Yeah, music. yeah. <laughs> I leave it to him. My my musical taste annoys a lot of people um, because <laughs> what is like? Uh, I I listen to new metal, metal, thrash, industrial, <laughs> rock, metal. To, it's like a uh, <laughs> The, the thing is, the more screaming, the more drums, and the more guitar, the calmer I am. So you at six in the morning. Oh, definitely. Uh, I, 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 one of my alarms is like speed metal cover. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. I have to try that. Actually. So, so I mean, I, I'll, I'll be in the office and I'll, I'll be going through uh, shops and whatever, it. and it'll, speed metal will be playing out of the laptop, and someone comes in, immediately closes the door and leaves, and so. <laughs> So it's nice for me to have my own personal space where I can just chill out and listen to some thrash metal, and it, it just it's, it's a nice place for me to be. Yes, um, yeah, it's good. You create uh, your own personal space, pushing people. Yeah, out of, yeah, this is the right music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, is I, I I love spending time with people in in the industry and just listening to what they're doing and where they're going and. It's so important for me to know that people are doing good things. Um, not not even for anything other than to know that there's quality work for people and that people are putting quality things together. So so for me, it's just great to sit and hear that, and then I can go and decompress afterwards. Go, oh my god, I need to catch up with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's it's fantastic when people are doing great stuff and you can listen listen to what they're doing. You know? It's yes. really great to cooperate. Yes. Also. Jamie Chambers. Ladies and gentlemen, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next and time. Cheers, and guys. you will see him on Chabanko. <laughs>